Northeast Ohio overdose deaths have reached an alarming crescendo. Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner issued a public health alert today reporting 30 suspected overdose deaths in just the first 12 days of July. And sadly, local health leaders are now reporting Cuyahoga County's on pace to suffer more than 700 overdose deaths this year. News 5 investigator Joe Pakanakis talks to the experts about what's causing this alarming spike in overdose deaths and what can be done about it. Well, the Adams Board of Cuyahoga County reports that overdose drug deaths are up in part due to dangerous fentanyl lace counterfeit pills. I can't even say I was on the edge. I had completely fell off. Waverly Willis, owner of three Urban Cuts barber shops in Northeast Ohio, knows firsthand what it's like to be homeless and drug addicted. I was the guy that was picking the cigarette butts up off the ground in front of the Greyhound station. I was the guy sleeping on 18th and Superior on the ground with the steam coming up. 17 years ago, Willis beat his addiction, but says some of his friends who are still on the street report current fentanyl laced counterfeit drugs are the most dangerous they've ever seen. They're, they're giving me a front row seat, letting me know that things have absolutely gotten worse. And this public health alert overdose report from the Cuyahoga Medical Examiner backs up the hazard. 15 suspected overdose deaths in the past four days, not only taking place in Cleveland, but striking suburbs like North Royalton, Richmond Heights, Lakewood and Middleburg Heights. The illicit drug supply is really, really dangerous right now. Adams Board CEO Scott Osicki says obviously his agency isn't advocating drug use, but if someone is addicted, it's imperative they test their drugs with these free, easy to use strips available at Urban Cuts Barber Shops and dozens of Northeast Ohio locations to make sure they're fentanyl free. People are buying counterfeit pills uh, and they're mixed and, and the fentanyl is about mixed in those counterfeit pills and they actually look like real pills. The Adams Board says as NALOX boxes are also posted in all parts of the county to rescue those dealing with an overdose. We have them in stores, we have them in laundromats, we have them in apartment complexes, we have them in various county buildings, and we even have one at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And Osiki says those ready for treatment can call the Adams Board hotline. They can dial the national line at 988 for behavioral health and addiction issues, or they can get involved with the Cuyahoga County Diversion Program after a brief screening to see if they're eligible drug addiction treatment that Waverly says definitely works. So my life today is a testimony that we do recover, we can recover, you know, we don't have to be the stereotypical drug addict. And information on Cuyahoga County test strip and NALOX box locations, as well as treatment phone numbers and resources are posted right now on News5Cleveland.com or you can use the News5 app. Reporting in Cleveland, I'm News5 investigator Joe Paganakis.